Taking a dump in outer space is the opposite of simple. On Earth, we have a flush that instantly gets rid of it and its smell, a septic tank that stores all the waste, and most importantly, gravity. Gravity helps our waste fall smoothly downward. If we're on a spaceship without gravity, our feces could float around aimlessly. Also, gravity helps us when we push. When sitting on the toilet, gravity increases the pressure in our abdomen, making it easier for our muscles to get it out. Ah, and gravity keeps the water in our toilet where it belongs. Imagine if there was no gravity. Toilet water could float everywhere. Gravity also makes the flushing process work smoothly. After being flushed, water and waste flow down to the septic tank, thanks to gravity. Without gravity, we'd need a complicated pump system to move waste to its destination. Okay, so gravity is critical for taking dumps. So what about astronauts in space? Believe it or not, the Apollo mission astronauts intentionally left their poop on the moon. Even now, there are almost a hundred bags of human waste on the lunar surface. Well, all of us might be asking, why? Why did they do this? Simply put, it was to keep their spacecraft from gaining extra weight, ensuring a safe return to Earth. They had to dump all unnecessary weight, including feces. But human waste contains a lot of microbes. So what if these microbes survive on the moon and contaminate it, or even become mutants? Okay, no need to worry. The chances of that happening are very, very low. Here's why. The moon's environment is extremely harsh. No atmosphere or magnetic field to protect it from damaging solar radiation, no oxygen, and the temperatures are extreme. So any microbes in the waste are almost impossible to survive, let alone become mutants. And actually, on the other hand, this waste might become research material in the future. Human waste is full of microbes. By studying the remaining waste, we can understand how long microbes can survive in space. In the past, the way astronauts went to the bathroom in space was very primitive. They just stuck a plastic bag directly to their butt. The problem was this method wasn't always effective. There was a crazy accident. During a space mission, an astronaut saw something mysterious floating in the air. It turned out to be waste that had escaped from the plastic bag, floating freely in the air. And the culprit behind this incident is still a mystery, because no astronaut confessed. To prevent this from happening again, researchers are thinking about the design of future toilets. NASA even held a competition to find the best moon toilet ideas. The lunar toilet must be lightweight, small, silent, and unisex. So what will the future lunar toilet look like? Will it have a smell-proof feature or maybe a sophisticated recycling system? One thing is clear, this will be a big challenge for engineers and designers. But if they succeed, it will not only help the lunar mission, but could also lead to breakthroughs in Earth's sanitation systems. Who knows, lunar toilet technology might help millions of people on Earth who still lack access to proper sanitation. Because as crazy as it is, by 2022, there are still around 400 million people worldwide who poop in the open. So yeah, toilet issues are important, but are often <laughs> overlooked by humans. An expert once said, when talking about human biological functions, people laugh more often than they show interest in researching. But if not addressed properly, they can cause many problems, from bad smells to diseases. So, who's curious to try going to the bathroom on the moon? <laughs>